see here. We're uh, on the way back into Belcamp, Maryland. We're going to load up and load here tonight and get back into Tennessee for tomorrow. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a view. I changed the camera mount. Um, this is also kind of a little bit of a test to see if you guys can hear me. Um, but that also being said, I just ordered a new skeleton case for my GoPro here, um, which is what I record on. And that skeleton case is going to give me the ability. I also ordered a new... Now I can't remember the name of the uh, microphone, but it's a real good microphone. Um, but it'll allow me to mount right onto the GoPro, the microphone. So you guys will be able to hear me a lot better. So hopefully the audio quality will be much better here um, within about a week. And I think it comes uh, not next week, but the week after Monday. So that'll be cool. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like once... Uh, once I get it, but until then, sorry, you gotta listen to my voice this way, just through the standard uh, GoPro microphone, which doesn't seem to do a very good job, but uh, it at least got me this far. So, here's a little view of uh, DC for you.
to DC. Um, for weight, 
earlier at a quarter tank of fuel. I'll read off my weights to you. Um, I was 13,000 on the steer axle. I'm allowed 13,4, 13,6. Um, drive axles, I'm 33,400, allowed 34,000. Trailer axles, I'm 33,560, allowed 34,000. And gross, uh, total weight, I'm 79,960 pounds. So, yeah, right, right on the butt for uh, what we're allowed to uh, haul. So, I got an eight car load on. Um, up above us, right, right on the front of the head rack here, we got a Honda Pilot. Behind the head rack up top, I uh, got a Forerunner. And behind the Forerunner, I got a Suburban. And behind that, I got a Tundra. And underneath the cab, I got a Ford Edge. Behind the cab underneath. And then a Acura MDX. And a Ford Fusion. And then a uh, Prius. So, eight car load that puts me right at maximum weight. So, a fun little load. Honestly, I'd, I'd rather, I like hauling light and heavy. Front and cool that way, but that, it's no biggie. So, yeah, we're just, we're, we're cruising. We left, uh, left Tom Brooks last night. Got out of DC. Uh, after load and uh, got into Tom Brooks, Virginia. That's where we slept. Got up early this morning and started heading back. Um, we're heading down into Knoxville, Tennessee today. We'll deliver these. It's a nice Saturday morning. Um, and like I said before, normally I don't run on the weekends, but uh, try to pile much money as I could into this week uh, because I'm taking all next week off. Uh, this truck goes in Monday to have the hood fixed and hopefully in a couple weeks here um, my front bumper will show up, my uh, air filter lights and my grill will all get here get that all installed and show you that but yeah next week i'll be taking the week off to get the truck fixed so yeah that's what it is not uh, not a big deal but had a had a quite a bit of time off lately uh we had kinley uh about three weeks ago and we took a week off there before that I got hit, so we took a couple days off getting all that stuff taken care of. And now uh taking time off here, so it's kind of a kind of a ruddy month and a half here for trying to make money. But then it is what it is. It's not not a huge ordeal. Um tap into savings a little bit but that that's whatever we'll build that back up and then hopefully take some time off uh right around christmas and then uh hopefully as long as everything stays together the next real time off we're gonna take will be uh for my son's uh spring break where we're debating trying to go someplace for spring break. Um, where we're thinking somewhere in Florida. So I'd, I'd love to go down into the Keys if we could. Uh, but that, that's kind of expensive. I have a real problem paying uh, 250 or more a night for a hotel room. That's not all inclusive. So... Yeah, I mean to turn around and shoot out 25, 3500 bucks for a week's vacation just for the hotel room, let alone airfare and rental car and dining out every night and stuff like that. It's just it's a little outrageous if you ask me. Um, but hopefully 
ordered the dead cat to go with it. Um, so that way we won't get the wind noise and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully we'll get some good audio for you guys because I know it's been kind of lackluster lately. But uh, yeah, just, just some of the ideas we got going on here. Um, I don't really know where where we're going to be hauling in the next couple weeks here. I wish I could give you guys some information on that, but I, I really don't know. I'd love to start stretching my legs out west a little bit. Uh, I've never really run out there, so I think it'd be fun to do some Arkansas loads, maybe up into Salt Lake City, Utah, Denver, Colorado. I, I'd love to take a trip down into like Phoenix, Arizona. Um, just I've never been out that way, so I think that'd be uh, that'd be a fairly entertaining trip for me. Um, I don't know about you guys. I hope it would be. I'd try to get as much as I could for you, but yeah, I mean, every now and then, just wanna wanna stretch your legs a little bit. Um, never really been into Texas much. I I drove down there in a uh, rental car uh, once. It was pretty neat. I would love to take some loads into Texas as long as there's decent loads coming back out. Uh, that's the whole problem. I've, I've spent my entire career kind of running the northeast and southeast side of the country. And uh, it's, it's fun getting out there and seeing some new areas. So I don't know. Well, we're gonna try to do some of that. Maybe, maybe get out, and get some different loads on uh, stuff that I haven't hauled before. So I don't know. Just, just kind of some thoughts here. Just, just thinking about where we can and where we'd like to haul to. As long as, long as the money's there. Um, I mean, I, I can't go into California or anything like that. I uh, never really wanted to, especially with their EPA crap that they want to pull all the time. Uh, well, not really EPA, but it's uh, California Air Resources Board. Um, they're, I, I don't have very many good things to say about them. So, yeah. They, that's not an area I'd, I'd like to run into. Um, but I, maybe someday we can get up into Oregon or Washington. Um, I don't know. Just some ideas here. Just kind of thinking where, where we'd like to go. What, maybe what are some places y'all want to see? Uh, take, some, take some loads into dealership someplace. Uh, I'd love, love to take a trip down into Key West. Um, and a lot of people probably think I'm an idiot. But uh, that's where me and my wife uh, honeymoon was in Key West. And I know there's at least one car dealership down there. So I'd, I'd love someday to find a way to get a, get a load down into Key West there. I think that'd be an absolute blast for me. Just more for memory's sake. But you get to drive down through that, uh, and I forget what they call it, bridge. But heck, you're, you're, on the, you're on a bridge for an hour and a half alone on the trip down there. So I mean, yeah, it's a it's a nifty, nifty little place. Um, but yeah, well, I mean. Where's some places y'all would like to see? I, I do a lot of this East Coast stuff. Um, down in Charlotte, down over to 95, Raleigh, Kenley, uh, South Carolina, Darlington, down into Atlanta, um, Tampa, Daytona, Orlando. And I've done a lot of that over the years, so I guess, uh, I don't know. Kind of neat seeing new places and across the different scale houses. So I, I find it kind of entertaining to see all the new stuff. But I don't know, it's, 
Right now, that's about all I got for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna leave the camera on for another, I don't know, how much we got. We got 11 minutes. I'll probably leave the camera on right until we get to about 15 minutes. Um, so it'll be about a 15 minute long video. Maybe a little longer because I got some other clips I might 